Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Weiss back with another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can set up SSH into Linux uh, subsystem for Windows. Now, what is the use case for doing all this? Basically, I've got a Mac with 16 gigabyte of RAM and sometimes I find it to be very less because sometimes I need to run multiple instances of IntelliJ IDEA so what i did is i got a windows pc with 32 gigabyte of ram i installed linux system in it and i wanted to remote into it so my code will execute in that machine usually vs code is used for remote development but in linux now you can actually install intellij idea backend which basically gives you ability to work on the remote machine but having an application built by intellij called uh, jetbrains client which basically is like a front end for your intellij id or any backend id like webstorm or pycharm so you're not really uh, restricted to only use vs code for remote development you can use intellij or jetbrains id IDEs as well which is why I didn't feel any difference that oh I'm gonna be switching from my IntelliJ to VS Code so you don't have to do that so without further ado let's get going with setting up SSH in WSL and then port forward it to be able to access it from the you know outer machine let's get started I'm using Mac OS but I am remoting into Windows using Microsoft Remote Desktop as well so in Windows, you can see I've already installed Ubuntu from Microsoft Store, which is running on the left here. Now, this is not the video for how to set up a WSL uh, because I have a separate video for that. To be able to run SSH in Ubuntu, you need to use this command. So sudo app.get update and sudo app.get install open ssh server so let's run this type the password it's going to update ubuntu first and then install open ssh server i already had open ssh server installed in ubuntu that's why it didn't install it again so next command is to actually add some details into your SSH config. So use the nano. If you don't have a nano install in Ubuntu, then you can install that by using sudo apt install nano. It's like a command line text editor. So use this and you need to open etc SSH and you need to open the file ssd underscore config and within this file you need to add the port that you want to port forward and then listen address to 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and then password authentication to yes so if you don't find these three things just add them there okay and then make sure to save it by pressing command or control o and then exit that Next, let's start our SSH service by running a service command. So let's type service SSH start. And then here it would say starting open BSD secure shell server. So at this stage, you should be able to uh, SSH into uh, your Ubuntu. But the problem is because Windows already used port 22 for its own SSH stuff. So I need to use a different port, which is 2020 that we set up. So if we go back to this command, here is the port, right? This is what we need to export. So the way you can export that is by using a, a PowerShell script that I created. So here is the PowerShell script that I have. So I'll just select all and then I will copy this script. So 
find out here is the ports that it's going to be exported so 2200 2022 80 80 so in your case you will only be exporting this 2020 or whatever the port that you specify now you might be wondering how do i find this script well i put that in a, in a gist uh on a github which you will find a link in the description of this video I'll, I'll show you that in a second so once you copy this make sure to open powershell as an administrator so let's open that up and now there's a problem when i'm gonna be pasting this because i'm remoting into this windows pc using microsoft remote desktop i'm not able to probably uh, paste the thing here so i'm gonna go to uh, chrome and i'm going to open a link uh, where you'll find these details in a text form as well so here's a link so if you go to my github account make sure to follow me as well on github you go to uh my guest which is this one uh, set up a system to resell and then here you'll find the script so i will just go ahead and then copy actually i'm gonna click on raw and then i'll just copy everything from here and go back to this and then paste it here okay now uh, you are on the windows you should be able to paste it so i'm going to press enter and then it's going to ask me for the password so the password would be your uh, password for your ubuntu user so i'm going to type my password there and then here it says starting the let's go up and take a look what does it say okay so it says uh starting open bsd secure shell server and it gives you some more information and then if you go down you will see it is now port forwarding port 2200 here okay on 192.16.1 so this is my local uh, ip address from this computer so at this stage if i go back to the terminal i would like to do ssh and the username that i have is my name always 192.168.1.121 that's like the ip of that computer on my local network and then i'm going to do port 2222 enter and then it's going to ask you for a password if i type the password then you see i am um, able to successfully uh, log into that machine now if i do an exit command and if i try a different port let's say 22 is going to be throwing an error because this is not being port forwarded i think there was another port that we forwarded which is uh this 4000 on this so let's try that one so if i do 4000 um it's still not gonna let you uh, ssh into this machine even though we did that in a such uh in a powershell script and the reason for that is if you look at uh let's say ubuntu and if you look at this here we only specify that we're going to be port forwarding uh for us that server is going to be 2222 so that's why the only port you can use is 2222 okay so now if you open a vs code you can actually uh let me go to vs code and i can do remote in and i can do uh as such into one to one and i've already actually added that uh as a configuration in my vs code so you can see here i've already added that so this is the configuration that you can add or just type the same command uh this command to your vs code and you'll be able to ssh into it now apart from this you can also do this jetbrain toolbox so here's the jetbrain toolbox install this gateway application so i'm just going to open the gateway application and let's uh bring it up and here you can see i've got two instances running in that uh linux operating system so to be able to uh run intellij id as a backend in uh, ubuntu what you can do is first of all click on this plus button and then it's going to ask you to select an id version so i'm going to be using intellij because it's already installed i click on this project directory which will bring up the project directory for that uh, ubuntu computer and i can open the project now where this this uh configuration coming from so basically you go to ssh click on new connection 
and then here you see that I've got this setup uh, already done uh, so you make sure that you add that here uh, once you do that then you should be able to use this as such connection to run your uh, IntelliJ idea as a backend so right now if I go here I will click on this and it's gonna check for JDK and it's gonna start the remote ID backend and the project should be uh, open in about a couple of minutes uh, the only reason it's gonna take time if you're doing it the first time and now as you can see it is uh, basically running and here's the project that came up you can also see some details about the remote computer like CPU load memory and a disk okay it's pretty cool uh, you can run the backend IntelliJ idea now in the remote machine so all of the resources uh, will be used from that remote machine and you don't have to worry about your, your computer being slow. Alright, that's about it for this video. So make sure to uh, check out this guest. I'll paste a link to uh, this, uh, this file where you'll find the PowerShell script and then the details are here as well. So you can basically copy these details and follow this uh, to, to set up the SSH on a WSL. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Cheers.